Moses feature in Canva. This is a great way for teachers to do quick formative assessments, but also get students engaged with the content. I wanna show you a few different ways how you can use it in your classroom. Where do we find the polls and quizzes within Canva? We're going to start by creating a new presentation. And on the left-hand side, you will see elements here and polls and quizzes. Let's start with a quiz. You can see there's lots of different templates here and we can design them and make them our own. What's great is when you add a quiz or poll, it goes live. When you send this to your students, you will get automatic live updates about who is answering what question and what they answered. It is a great way to do formative assessment quickly and get your students engaged with the content in a more fun, unique way rather than just having them use paper and pencil to do a quick quiz or something like that. It's just a fun, different way to do things. But let's kind of change this up and make it more engaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a template to use. I could start from scratch and create a presentation based on the lesson I'm doing, or I can find one here and use one already available and tweak it to fit my needs. I personally love doing it from scratch, but to save us time, let's just find a template already there. So we're gonna use this edition one. And you can see it's a math quiz, but it doesn't have that interactive component. So I'm going to tweak this a little bit to fit my needs and I'm going to put the quiz right here. We'll go to elements and you can choose whatever you want. We are going to edit this to make it our own. So now that the quiz is selected, I can click the color box and I'm going to make it this same purple color to match my design here. Now I'm going to choose edit. I don't necessarily need a header because I have my question right here. So I'm going to go ahead and now add my options for the answer. The one with the check mark is the right answer. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight in the box and then maybe seven here. And then I can add questions. 10. Now I can also move these up and down in different locations, or I can say, actually, this is the correct answer, not this one, whatever you want to do. But I usually have about four options or so for students to choose from. Now I'm going to just go ahead and delete the rest of these. I could keep them because they already have the pre-made questions, but because I have my template set up here this way now, I think it's easier just to delete what's already here and just duplicate this. So now we're going to duplicate it and let's go ahead and change the question. Let's do seven plus six. And then we're gonna go ahead and edit our response here. So the correct answer is 13. Now I'm going to move the correct answer down a little bit. So it's in a different location from the first time. And I can go ahead and I can change this as many times as I want. I can make different questions. I think it allows you to make up to 20 or 25 quizzes in one presentation. So I'm gonna change up this little guy here, maybe make him green. Now let's see how this would look from a student perspective and the teacher perspective. So if you had all your quizzes, questions made, you would come up here to our share button and you are going to make a public view link. I'm going to create that link. And now if I share that link here, I had to click copy link first. Now I paste it here. This is what the student view would look like. So you could have everyone answer them individually on their own Chromebooks or computers or devices or you could put the slides up in the class and say, everyone don't move ahead, everyone answer this question first, whatever you want to do. So if they get the question right, this is what it would look like. Yay, it told them that they were right and response was saved. Now, if they get the question wrong, it will tell them they were wrong and what the incorrect question, answer or what the correct answer was. I love that automatic feedback for the students. And then on your end, you get to see who answered what and what they answered. So you could talk through what the correct answers were. So if I click on this quiz here, I can choose responses and TK Quant, that's me. You can see what my response was and that it was correct. 
It will give you the percentage of who answered what question. And then I can come here to the next one. Same thing, responses. I love this and think it would be a wonderful way to introduce or review topics with your students in class. You can see this one was incorrect. And here was the correct answer. You can see who answered it. You can even see the timestamp. So if you sent this as a homework or something. Now let's talk about how polls work within Canva. Very similar to quizzes, but you would use them in a different way. So I am going to be in a new presentation. You can start from scratch or find a design template already there for you. So I'm going to choose this or that presentation, maybe use this as a type of brain break. In fact, here's one right here. Apply all 20 pages just as a fun brain break for your class, or maybe you want to pull them in something specific, whatever that is. I'm going to come to elements, polls and quizzes. I'm going to go polls here. We're going to do a quick poll. We're just going to do, we could even just do agree or disagree, but you would say this or that, because that's what this poll is, right? So find a good place to put it on here. We're going to change the color so that it matches our color scheme, maybe the yellow there. I'm going to edit. You could say this or that, but it already has it written on here. So I'm going to take my header away and I'm just going to write this, that. So they have to choose which one that they want. And I'm going to change the color here so it stands out. There we go. This, that. Let's do yellow. And we don't really have the header here, so that color doesn't matter. Now I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that onto all of my slides here. I think students would love this as a quick brain break. Oh, my kids would all choose Crocs. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, let's see what this would look like on a student end, then a teacher end. Public view link. Create public view link, copy link. We're going to go ahead and paste it. All right, so this or that. I would probably choose a roller coaster, so that. Then would I choose a movie theater or outside? That's a tough one. Now that I'm older, probably a movie theater. <laughs> but I do love the park. Always ice cream. I would choose a bike so on and so forth. Now, how would this look on the teacher end? So now you're gonna come over to your polls, you'll choose responses, and it's just fun to see what percentage was voted on and which poll students liked more. This would be great if you're doing a lesson on collecting data and you wanted students to collect data to make a graph or something like that. This could be a fun interactive way to do a lesson that way. So I love the polls and quizzes in Canva and I would love to hear how you're using them in your classroom. Remember to check the links below in the description so that you can follow along with my Canva hacks on Instagram. And if you're interested, join any courses I may have, I may have also linked in the description. You can find Canva 101 course for teachers to learn how you can implement some Canva skills into your lesson plan.